How's it going guys? So today we are going to be installing the Senna 50S onto my Alpine Stars Super Tech R10 helmet. I've been wanting a 50S actually for a long time and uh, I've said it in a previous video, but I've had my 30K on my, I actually used to have it on my old Icon helmet, but it's now on my Shoei X14 and I've had that on there for a few years, but I believe I've had that headset for about six years. I believe 2018 is when I got it put on, when I got my first street bike. But uh, my 30K has been incredible. I still use it to this day. I was literally using it last night. It still works really great. It's just, it's getting old <laughs> and it's time for an upgrade. Yeah, I've just heard incredible things about the 50S and, and a lot of my friends have them and they swear by them. So, uh, and I know I can always count on Sunnah as a really good product. And um, I'm really, really excited to see how the Harman Kardon speakers sound and the upgraded microphone. I'm super stoked about that. Um, yeah, I, I cannot wait to get this on my helmet and ride with it. I'm really looking forward to comparing it with my old 30K, you know, speaker wise and microphone wise and just operation wise. Um, it seems very similar to the 30K if like, you know, if you take a look at it right here, but I feel like it's, you know, it's just a refined updated version, but it's still a very similar profile. You know, like it has like the little antenna right here that pops up and the dial and all that stuff. So it should be pretty similar and which is awesome because I'm extremely familiar with my 30K. So it makes it just that much easier. I don't have to like learn some new device and have this learning curve and doing crazy stuff while I'm riding and trying to mess with my headset. So it should be really nice. I'm, I'm super, super excited. Uh, hopefully I don't look like too sweaty or anything in here. <laughs> I usually have a fan going in my garage. I have a thermometer up here on the wall. It's a little over 80 degrees in the garage right now. So it's a little toasty, but you know, I want to get this video done for you guys and get this on my helmet. I plan to go riding here in a little bit and just got to get this thing on there. So I know it can be a little tricky. People, I've seen some people talk about it and some of my friends even have said it's a little tricky to mount the headsets on this specific helmet. On most other helmets, I've, I, you know, I've heard it's very, very easy, but we'll see. I've never actually installed one of these, so this shall be very interesting, and hopefully I'll kind of give you guys a glimpse into that, but um, yeah, it should be interesting <laughs> to say the least, but it looks pretty it looks pretty simple to be honest. Um, it doesn't look like that too hard of a job, it's just people were saying that it's kind of hard to put like the clamp in here because there's like a reinforced part of like the shell up in here or something, I don't know. And some people like put them back here, but I really don't like how that looks. I feel like if I can get it up here somewhere, like right in front of the A2 and I'm not blocking the Alpine Stars logo and stuff. If I can get it like up here, I feel like it's more like streamlined and fits better with the, you know, like the, the lines of the helmet. It doesn't look like it's awkward. And I don't want to be like reaching all the way back here. I want it to be like right there, almost like, you know, like right on your chin. So let's see how that goes. Let me open this thing up. I'm super excited. And there's like, dude, the 50Ss are so pretty. Like I was looking at my friends last night and I was talking about it and, uh, yeah, I was just like, oh my God, they're so nice. Like they're so cool. I'm gonna open this box up if I can just get this tape. I'm struggling cutting tape here. There's that. Beautiful. Look at that, guys. Incredible. So pretty. It's such a sleek looking device. And I love like that, like, I don't know what you would exactly call it. It's almost like a brushed aluminum kind of look or something. Oof. It's very similar to my 30K. I would, act, oh, it's upstairs in my house. Um, I would go grab it, but they are very similar like looking like profile wise, but I know this is a lot better. I'm really, really, really excited about this. Look at how pretty that is guys. Beautiful. And I know it has like a, you know, like, like a film thing. So once I peel that off, that'll be all nice and shiny and all that. So, but I'm really, really excited about this. You guys, give you guys a little backside view. That's what it looks like. And then, the antenna, yep, pops up just like my 30K. Awesome, I'm super excited about this, guys. Oh my God. I already had to cool myself off with the fan, as you can see it turning off over there. Um, yeah, it's really hot, so we're doing that. But I had to take a little little wind break. But um, yeah, let's dig into what else is in this box. Pull out this like little styrofoam thing. I'll kind of stand up so you guys can see. This little thing in here. Ooh, that's, that's nice, that's fancy. It has like a little guide that's in here. You guys can see that. All right, now, oh, okay, here we go. There's that, open it up. There's the mount. The Harman Kardon speakers, oh crap. And the Harman Kardon microphone. Is this another microphone? I'm gonna have to open the stuff up and look at it. There's like all like the different um, adhesives and stuff like that, and like the padding so you can, you know, adjust it and however to your helmet. And then we have the charger. The charger's actually really cool on this thing. Actually, I have my 30K charger right here. Yeah, my 30K charger is just like this like boring old little 
This is like a nice, I believe, oh yeah, that's USB-C as well, which is nice. And then it has like this nice like little light up thing. Mine's nothing, the 30K is nothing like that. You know, I'm not crapping on the, the 30K or anything. I Like I said, I love that headset and I use it all the time and I've had it for many years. So it's definitely gonna be weird like using like an updated version, but like I'm excited for it. I, I need that updated version. Dial feels so nice and stuff. I'm sorry guys, I'm just like looking at it. And so before we start turning through all this stuff, I'm going to plug the 50S in just to ensure that it's charged. Yeah, just nice and simple. It's like this little Little flap right here that you know you can seal it just like that but you peel it open I guess that's just for probably like to keep water out and stuff like that and like I've rode with my 30k many times I've got caught in rain or whatever and it's been perfectly fine so boom there's that I'm gonna plug it right here into the wall and as you can see the red light it is charging so I'll put this to the side and let it charge up it'll probably be a good idea to keep this on hand just to make sure <laughs> so as I was looking at these I just realized that this charger is the center Wi-Fi adapter too. So what's really cool about it is like if you're connected to like your Wi-Fi and like you just plug this in, it'll it should automatically update your device. Just as long as you're connected to Wi-Fi and it's connected to a power source using this cord. So that's really, really cool. I wasn't sure if that was something that you had to purchase separately. I've heard about this, but that's really awesome that it comes with the 50S. And what's really neat about this as well is that it's compatible with other Senna devices. So like recently I also got the Striker helmet, which I'm gonna be making a video on shortly. And now that I think about it, it has a USB-C attachment. So you can plug this into the wall and then use the USB-C attachment to charge the helmet, but you can also update it that way. Ah, that's super awesome, guys. I love that. That's really cool that Senna does that. Big shout out to them for that. That's awesome. And uh, yeah, I'm excited. So I'm gonna plug this back in because, yeah. All right, you know it's warm when my camera is overheating. So I'm gonna start digging into this stuff. I'm really hoping that the uh, install goes pretty smoothly. It's not a matter of Senna, it's a matter of me being an idiot, so. <laughs> but we shall see. These speakers look incredible. Like, really nice finish, very well designed. Like, nice. Harman Kardon speakers are incredible too. I actually have them in my, my daily car. I have a, a 4 Series BMW and they are absolutely incredible. It's, it's actually like kind of mind blowing. So now we're gonna open these. I don't know if I should take out all these adhesives. Like there's like a bunch of them. Uh oh, hold on here. Yeah, so I'm kind of going through, like I was just opening all the stuff and like, I'm assuming this is like another thing for this to stick to, I would assume. I, I believe that's what this is. Yeah, actually that definitely is what this is. So you can put this on and you can use like the 3M backing instead of just like clamping it, which is pretty neat. So that's really cool. I love how customizable this is. There's like the different like spacer things you can have. These are like, it's almost like a, like the Velcro. And then you have different size adhesive 3M stickers. And then you have different mic tips, like the muffle thingies. So that's really awesome. Like I, I'm really impressed with that. And that's super cool. It's not just like a one size fits all kind of thing. I love how like customizable it is. Yeah, so I'm going to attempt to film this and install this on this helmet. I've never even pulled the like interior out of this helmet. So we shall see, I guess we're gonna learn here together. So, all right guys, let's see. It makes me so nervous pulling out the padding of my helmet. Oh scares me. <laughs> All right. So we'll pull out. Sorry, it's kind of hard to see. I don't really have a good way of filming this. Oh, that freaks me out. I'm always, I'm like so scared that I'm like break something. So there's the one right side, this side. It's funny, I was, I'll fit and just break that. What I was gonna say though, is it was funny, I was watching like the Revzilla video when they were reviewing this helmet and that, it's so crazy. Like he'll just be like ripping the stuff out of the helmet. And I'm just like, wow, like that's, that's insane. <laughs> so as you guys can see, I pulled out the cheek pads and stuff like that. This should be enough for like what I need. I really don't wanna pull out the chin curtain because the chin curtain on this helmet was like an extreme headache to put in for some reason. But I'm going to try to slide it, like I said, like probably like right up in here. I'm gonna try to like put it, like you can kind of see there's like that gap. I'm gonna try to put it like right up in there somewhere and see if uh, if that works. But I've managed to get it on the side here. I really don't want it all the way back here, be back by the spoiler. So I'm gonna make sure that this goes on. It's the first test. Here we go. Boom, it's on. And I really don't think that looks terrible at all. 
it doesn't look too bad. It'll look a little bit better like once I have all the padding back in and stuff like that. So it doesn't look like it's sticking off the helmet like a bunch, but even my 30K on my X14, like it does stick down a little bit off the side. That's just how it is. Yeah, so I'm gonna have to mess with this, but yeah, I was gonna film it, but I was literally struggling here. I, it probably just took me 15, 20 minutes just to get this because I know you guys can see up in here, but like there is, if you like peel this back, it's like part of the shell. It makes it extremely difficult. You can only go so far. So like you don't have much depth to work with. This should be pretty good. It's right out of the way of the wing. Um, I haven't seen any videos on people installing the 50S on this Super Tech R10. So hopefully this is helpful. I know it's not the best informative video. And I was, like I said, I didn't include the 15 minutes of me struggling, <laughs> trying to find a good spot, but I'll kind of show you guys a little bit closer up. So if you are trying to do this, it's literally just right here. If you want to like pause it, you can kind of see, I was kind of going off these like diamond things. Like you can kind of see where I placed it. So if you want to take a good look, if you're trying to do it like this, just try to give you guys a kind of like a close up here. That's where I have mine. Not saying that's perfect. I hope it works. I don't know if it's going to, but like I said, the center fits good on there. I'll show you guys again. So here we go. Goes on, boom, it's locked in. No problems. Look, I can literally hang the helmet by the mount. It's in there. So um, make sure you definitely, you know, use this tool is really nice. Use this little tool and make sure that you tighten down those screws really good. I have mine really snug because I do not want it ripping off of my helmet. That would be tragic. Make sure you tighten those down really good. I don't see any like damage or anything to the helmet from tightening down like super snug. Everything looks good even on the side over here. I take off the center again. You can see it's not like damaging anything where it's mounted up here. Looks completely fine. So should be good. Yeah, my front screw actually was able to be tightened just a little bit more. I was kind of trying to like be even, like tighten them evenly. It's kind of just what I'm doing. Like I said, I am no expert at this, but I'm just trying to help you guys out and I wanted to film it. So you actually can kind of see it. You see that? I can like, I'm hitting with, the, see that right there, that line? That's the shell and it goes all the way around. And so it's like really hard to get this up in there. I'll show you actually the picture that Kyle sent from Ray Hall Ducati Cleveland. Uh, let me zoom in because I know he's, he's moving. But you can see like how it looks. It's kind of a glare, but you see, it doesn't look bad at all. It does not look bad. That looks really good. Big shout out to Kyle, as always. That's my boy. Now is the fun part. Ooh, I actually just noticed this. Do you see that? That's literally a speaker hole. No way. Alpine Star, you guys are awesome. No way. Is that really what that's for? So I'm going to take these. I'm gonna put those in each one of these holes and then I'm gonna stick these in there, I think. Yeah, this just sticks directly to the back of this. And this, once this is stuck in there, will stick. It's so awesome that Alpine Stars put those speaker holes there. You guys might flame me in the comments because it might serve a whole other purpose that I'm not really realizing at this moment, but that really might be what that's for. And that's super awesome. This should sit like really flush and really nice. So I got those in there. It has like a point to them. You can see the shape here. I just put them like where they're up. So it would be like, you know, on your head, like it would just face up. I have no idea if that's the right way. I'm not an expert here. So as you can see, I just kind of have that in there like that. The speakers should just stick right on top of those, I would assume. Yeah, so there we go. You guys, you guys can see, I'm so sorry. It's like really hard to show the inside of a helmet when you're installing, but you can see that that speaker is lined up. I have it oriented up. Once I put the pads and stuff like that, it should hold it really nice in there and it should be good. I'm really excited about this. Huge shout out to Alpine Stars. Reason number 17 million of why I use Alpine Stars. So now I'm gonna take out the speaker out of the bag. Now I'm going to stick it. And then there's like this little, you know, see how it's kind of bunched up, the cord's long. So now it's kind of up to you on how you want to tuck it. You know, some people are a little bit more specific about that than others. Like some people just don't care, but I'm going to try to get it back here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kind of pull this like out like that, like to get behind it. And then I'm gonna run, take the speaker and run it back through there. And then I can just tuck all the wires back there. Sorry, it's kind of hard. I wish I could show you guys better. All right, so as you guys can kind of see, the wires are like already tucked. This is the one for the left speaker and I can kind of just tuck that behind here as well. I don't know why I went out of focus, but yeah, I can just kind of tuck that one back in here. Oh, just popped out one of the tabs. That was actually, okay, I'm not even gonna lie. If it wasn't for this helmet having, you know, this hardcore shell like around the outside, that would have been super simple. And I've always thought it was like this like, like you were like building a rocket for some reason. I don't know. I'm not like the most mechanically like, I, I don't know. I like, I let the professionals do it because I don't want to mess up anything ever. <laughs> so like when I bought my 30K, I actually bought it from Cycle Gear. I believe they still do to this day. So if you buy your Senna device through Cycle Gear, 
they'll install it in your helmet for free. So I had Cycle Gear do it, you know, like like I said, like six years ago. But yeah, honestly, not too bad. I just hope that these cheek pads go in really smooth. And then I have to figure out what exactly these are. I, I, I mean, they were behind the cheek pads. I just don't know. I don't know where they go. So I'm gonna have to mess with that for a minute. Oh, okay, wait. So now that I'm looking at it, I believe that these kind of go in here. If you guys can kind of see it, kind of goes in there like, so it lines up with the two these two holes in here. And I believe that it covers actually that hole that the speaker goes into. So maybe I will keep these out and then I'm gonna try to pop these back in. This shall be very interesting to get this back in the slide with the mount on. All right, so I'm probably just gonna try to put in this right one first, just to make my life a little bit easier. And like I said, I've never done these before, but it should be pretty simple, I would assume. Oh, I see, there's actually these like little red things. I see that? There's like these like little slider things and it hooks into that. Very interesting and pretty neat. All right, I'm not gonna make you guys watch me uh, suffer and try to put these in, so I'm gonna do this really quick and I'll be right back. <laughs> all right, <laughs> so I have it all put back together, as you guys can see. I just have these two little wires running, you know, right through here. I'm gonna kind of try to work and tuck them in a little bit better behind this cheek padding. All right, so I have it all put back together, as you guys can see, everything is back in as it was. Honestly, not that bad. I'm sorry I couldn't give you guys like a more in-depth look into it. It's kind of hard to like hold it and show you guys with the camera. And this is also my first time ever installing a Senna device or any Bluetooth communication device into a helmet in general. So definitely a big learning curve for me, but um, it honestly, it was not that bad. It, it truly wasn't. It's far more the helmet than it is the Senna device. The Senna device is very straightforward. It's very simple, easy to use. They give you all the tools. It looks pretty good. It looks pretty sleek to me. Let me put the 50S on really quick. All right. I'm not mad about that at all. Actually, I think that looks pretty awesome. Dang, that actually looks really good. Yeah, that fits perfectly. Like I said, it's not touching the wing or anything like that. I think as you guys can see, it's not banging up against the wing. But what do you guys think? Does that look all right? I think that looks really, really good. It looks sleek. It looks... That, I love this placement too. Like I said, I, back here, it definitely works and it probably fits a little bit better, but I feel like this could all, like the wing could get in the way and then also like the spoiler. Like back here, I feel like it would work pretty good and you could probably get it a little bit deeper up in here, but you have this wing here and you have the spoiler and it's like, I don't know. And like just reaching all the way back there doesn't look that good. And I feel like this having it like almost like where you're like, you know, it's kind of like the jawline. I feel like it looks a lot sleeker and like that looks really good. This looks super cool. I'm really, really stoked about this guys. There we go. Ooh, there we go. The moment of truth. It's on. You hear it? Volume's all the way up. I'm gonna put this on, I'm gonna test it out for you guys right now. Hopefully you guys can hear me okay. I'm actually gonna pair this 50S uh, with my phone. I'm gonna use the Sun of Motorcycle app right here. Get that going. So when I turned it on, it, was, it like wasn't in the phone pairing mode, but all you have to do is hold down this back button right here and you just hold it down for like five seconds and it'll go into phone pairing mode. You go to your Bluetooth selections and it popped up. It said Senna 50S V2.5. Boom, my phone's paired right now. And I'm actually gonna open the Senna motorcycle app and it should just connect it. It should find it. Yep, it asked me if I wanted a pair. Guys, I'm so excited about this. Oh my gosh. I've been wanting one of these for a long time. It's nice too, it came up to date as well. So now I'm going to try out some music. All right, let's see. Oh, wow. Wow, it's loud. Oh, that sounds awesome. Oh my God, the audio, whoa. I turned on a Frank Sinatra song. I listened to a lot of old music like that. And um, it sounded really good, really crisp, like great. And then I turned on like a new song from this year and like, it's so crisp, it's so loud. I have it all the way up. Whoa. Dude, this sounds awesome. Let's go. <laughs> Dude, this sounds incredible. All right, all right. I'm like just, wow. Wow. This thing is incredible. This 50S is amazing. I think the Harman Kardon speakers are phenomenal. The clarity. I mean, it can hit a little bit harder bass wise, but like there is a bass boost option. I like to have my balancers an option for that in the menu, but you can do like treble boost, bass boost. You can do, you can lower like the mid range. You can do all this different stuff in there. And so I'm not to mess with it. It all depends on like the song and it really comes down to even how the songs were mastered and all that stuff. So I'm very, very, very impressed with that. And I'm about to go test it out right now and go riding. 
So uh, yeah, like I hope I hope this video came out decent for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. it wasn't too uh, hard to watch for you, but I appreciate you guys watching, of course, as always. If you like the video, drop a like on it. It really helps out the page. Drop some comments, like I said, if you need any help or if you have any feedback for the video, I would really, really appreciate that. And uh, you know, please consider subscribing. I would, I would highly appreciate that. That really helps and it helps my channel get pushed. And um, you know, I have so many videos that I'm editing right now. <laughs> it's just, there's a lot. So uh, I have a lot of stuff coming and I'm really excited for all you guys to see it. You know, give me a follow on TikTok and Instagram at motoradboy21 again. I highly appreciate it. I'm gonna go change, get ready for riding. It's so hot in here, so I'm about to turn my fan and uh, <laughs> about to get out of here and get on the bike. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. All right, I have the garage open now and stuff, but I wanted to mention that I also have a clamp kit that I'm gonna be putting on my Pista, and I'm gonna be able to switch my 50S from my Pista to my SR10, so. And uh, I will throw this on very shortly, but I have to take this, I have to take the bike out for a ride, get this 50S on the road, and uh, see what it's all about, so. I'm always forgetting some in my videos. I always have to throw some in at the end. <laughs> all right, I'll see you guys, peace.